This is Timothy. I'll be going through your Compix Links test drive experience. Compix Links is a software based character generator specifically designed for your new tech TriCaster. In this walkthrough, we'll be focused primarily on Compix Links CG. If you're interested in running multiple crawls, bugs, time and temp information, or social elements like Twitter or Facebook feeds, please contact your Compix dealer for a one on one personal demo of Compix Links branding and Compix Link Social. In this video, we'll be going over installing Compix Links test drive, is your system good enough, and how to download and install it. Next, we'll be going over connecting to your TriCaster, check the network setup, assign links to IVGA, and doing a test run. And afterwards, we'll be getting to know the interface and working with built-in templates, and I'll show you some more cool stuff. And finally, we'll be taking it to air. Whether you want to play it manually or auto, calling up graphics, and I'll go over tools for CG operators. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing we'll need to look at before installing Compix Links are the system requirements. For system requirements, our web address is www compix.tv forward slash links forward slash requirements. And this is the web page that it brings you to. Another way you could go to this web page is just type in compixlinks.com. And within, you would go into resources, system requirements. Now, going through the system requirements page is very important before installing Compix Links because you need to make sure that your system does fit within these requirements. If they do not fit, then it might compromise your Compix Links output. Okay, now I'll be going over installing the Compix Links test drive. After filling out and submitting the test drive form, you'll receive an email. Within the email, you'll see a link to download Compix Links CG. After downloading it, click Run to install. After the installation is complete, click on the Finish button, and you'll be prompted with the test drive experience walkthrough. It gives you step-by-steps on how to utilize the CG and connect to your system. Compix Links works with any new tech TriCaster with a network input and IVGA integration. Before connecting Compix Links, make sure you're using a CAT6 cable with a gigabit ethernet connection. This is important as your performance might become unstable otherwise. After making the connection, go into your TriCaster's Windows operating system by going to shut down Administrator mode, exit to Windows. Once inside Windows, go into the Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center, and verify that your active network is either Work or Home. If it's set to Public, select Public Network and press Work or Home. Now that we've set up our New Tech TriCaster, the next step is to log into your Compix Link system. After the installation, you're going to be opening up Link's controller first. Now, this is where you would set the resolution and frame rate of your choice. After setting your desired resolution, you'll now open up GenCG Links. This is the main application that you'll be using for creating and playing your graphics to air. When double-clicking your application, you'll notice that it says number of days left, 15 days. Go ahead and click on OK. And GenCG is now open. To go ahead and just test a demo file, on your upper left, click on Open. And navigate to your C Drive, Compix folder, GenCG, then Documents. Once there, go ahead and open up Compix NAB 13. Go to your Run tab. Within your Run tab, make sure that your Run mode is set to Manual and press Play two times. Now that you have Compix graphics going out to air, let's go ahead and open them up on your new Tech TriCaster. Within your TriCaster menu, select 
net one and press receive. Now that it's received an updated list, go ahead and access your drop down menu and select the CG. Let's now get to know the interface of the Compix Link CG product. Now, the Compix Link CG uses Gen CG for creating and playing out your graphics. This is the Gen CG interface. To the left is your page list. This is where you would generate your sequence of pages to play to air. In the center is your canvas. Below is your attributes control, where you would manipulate fonts, shapes, add color to them, add effects to your pages, and you also have the playback control below, and to the right is the style catalog. This catalog has a bunch of pre-created templates, animations, colors, characters, shapes, background images, and images to manipulate. If you would like to open up a demo file, again, you would go to File, then Open. From there, navigate to your C drive, Compix, GenCG, then Documents folder. Within, you have a couple demo files to open. One of them is Compix NAB. And we also have Demo News HD in TSE or PAL. Let's open up Demo News HD. After opening up the demo file, you could access the pages within the page list to the left. If you would like to insert a template within the style catalog, go to your page tab and drag and drop a template in. For any pre-created template, go ahead and just type in your name and a subheading, and you'll be set to go on air. In addition, you could also unlock many of the templates by going to Edit, Unlock Template. And if you'd like to create your own template, let's say on page four, you build up your lower third, what you would do is you would just select all the text that you want to be editable, right click, and go to Save Page to Catalog. After selecting this, go into your Style Catalog Pages tab, scroll all the way down, and you'll see the template that you just created to the right. Go ahead and create a new page, drag and drop this template in, and now it's set to edit. Compix Link CG also have scheduling capabilities as well. That is within your Tools menu, then you go to Run Scheduler Suite. Within Scheduler Suite, you could insert any number of files to play at any given time. Now another great feature is GenCG's page lists. If you were to go to File, then New, you have a few settings for your page. The first is Still. That is the upper left corner. You will see a drop-down list and it's set to Still. Now if you select Still for your page, then a single transition effect will happen for the entire page. Your page could also roll for ending credits. Your page could crawl. You could select typing, so one character could type at a time. Or you could select multi-layer. With multi-layer selected, if you go inside your effects tab below, you would set your end transition, but you could also set individual transition effects for each individual object. And if you group objects together, you could actually apply a single transition effect. GenCG also supports animated element import. What you would do is you would go to Insert, Animation, and you would change the files of type from animation files to image files. Within After Effects or Final Cut or other animation software, simply export it as a 32-bit target sequence. Now that you know how to create graphics with Compix Link CG, let's go ahead and run them. To begin, click on the Run tab below. Within the Run tab, you have different modes to select. You could either run it manually, automatically, or cut, which removes the transition effects. Within each, you have In and Out or In. If I were to select Manual In and Out, then you'll need to press play for both the In and Out transition effect. Now there are a number of ways to call up graphics, but this is just a few. The first is with the Play button. If you press play one time, page one goes to preview. If you press play again, page one goes to error. 
So if you wanted to play page four next, you could use the slider. Press play for one to go out and press play again for four. Another way of playing your pages is through the numeric keypad on your keyboard. The enter key is equivalent to the play button. So if I press enter one time, page one loads to preview. Let's say you want to play page six though. I'm going to press six, enter, six goes to preview, press enter again, and then six goes to error. So if you wanted to play page five next, five, enter, and then enter. Now an even simpler way of playing your pages would be through the cut button. This will basically cut anything that is on your canvas straight to air. Now the equivalent keystroke of this would be the zero key on your numeric keypad. So you could simply click on page five and press zero on your keypad to have that go to air. Pressing the delete key right next to it will take it off. Now when the CG operator is playing files to air, there are a number of ways for him to feel comfortable. If the page list is too small, you could go to view, stamp size, and make it large. This will increase the thumbnail within the page list and playback control area. Another convenient feature is the yellow button within the playback control. If you click on it and press the play button, you'll notice that you have an adjustable preview screen giving you your in and out transition effect, the page number that's being previewed, and the page mode that's set to multi-layer. And in addition to having the preview window, you could go to view, page window, and you could have a list of all the pages that are within your sequence. Now, if you had a second monitor connected, you could go ahead and drag the page list or preview window into that second monitor, and then you'll have a dynamic experience with your Compix Link CG system. If you have any questions, or if you're interested in purchasing Compix Links, please email us at sales at compix.tv, or you could call us at 949-585-0055 from 8 to 5 Pacific.